Good morning everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. Today I'd like to cover a few things. Let's have a look what we'd like to cover. The magic pencil, Endrum automation and the metal former. Let's start with the last of those three. And what I did as I had two metal formers down here. I was getting a bit big that mess at the moment. I've tidied that out. And the reason for it was actually it's the same it's the same principle as the uh, alloy smelters this one's set to rolling and this one is set to extruding and of course you can't easily swap it the same as the, the alloy smelters this one is set to furnace only no alloys only and this one is furnace only uh, so that's why I had two and now let's go back upstairs let's take the shortcut of course a lot of a lot of anchors at the moment but i think that's fairly normal and in here i think it's in here nope nope ah maybe it's in here i have a magic pencil and what the magic pencil does is cause me problems actually oh i also need this i need these pencil glasses and what the pencil glasses do is allow you to see the magic pencil now if you remember from one of my earlier videos i had a space just in front of the nether wart barrel that i couldn't get past and i couldn't put things on and what it is is actually a block from the magic pencil so let's go and do this outside, I think it's probably the best place. Here. And in fact, I've actually done it here, you can't see it at the moment, but here we have steps. Completely invisible, but they do exist. And I shall show you how you can see them. If I put the glasses on, put the pencil on, let's put the glasses on. I'll take the pencil in my hand here. We should be able to see, you can just very, very vaguely make them out. It's just here. Maybe you can see it better. No, nope. you can see the outline and then the block. And there's another one here. You can see just there at the top and against the sandstone stairs, a little grey area. And that's what it does. So what you do, you simply, let's say, find some light. Um, where would be a good place? Maybe over here where the um, quarried stone is, because it's easier to see on the light surface. At the moment, I've got it set to stairs. And if I shift right click, I think it is, in the air, it changes it. So now I've got an inverted block, inverted panel. You can And you can see on the icon of the pencil, the shape in the bottom right hand corner changing. This is a half height panel, stairs, and the block. So let's just place the block down here. And there you can see it. It makes a slight noise. And there's the block. You can't do anything with the block. You can't go past it. You can't put anything on it except for another another um, block. And you can't see it if you haven't got the glasses on. So let's just demonstrate that by taking the glasses off. Gone. Can't go past it. You can't hit it. If you hit it, you're actually hitting the box below it. You can hit it with a pencil, and you can hit it with the glasses. I think you can hit it with a pencil. Maybe you can't, actually. Let's put the glasses back on again. Now you can hit it with the pencil, and then it breaks. So now it's gone. So, just in case you ever see that again, that's what's caused my problem with the that invisible block. And something else that's on my list here is Enderim Automation. What I was doing first of all, go down to the right floor that is. As I set up this automation here, 
So here I've got an autonomous activator with some buckets in it. And that's powered by a hardened flux capacitor. It doesn't matter very much. And it's set to enabled high. So you have to press the switch to turn it on. There's the switch. So that basically right clicks this, takes one bucket. And that then comes into the cyclic assembler here. And here I've got some pulverized shiny metal, pulverized tin and pulverized silver. And out of that we should get one, some endrum ingots. So let's just demonstrate that. So if you look in here, there we go. And let's turn that off. So in here you get uh, a sort of automation or something. You don't really see very much except for the buckets coming in here. But in here, we shall end up with some enderum blend. What I discovered by chance is there's actually a better way of doing this. This is a bit clumbersome. Let's get up here and turn that off. And what you can do is let's have a look at is to make endrum ingots. No, it's called something else. Here we are. Enderum base. Let's craft one of these. Oh, two. One will do. Start that. And with this enderum base, if we actually look at it, you can press uh, the use button on that one. The U. So with pyrothium dust and one ender pearl, you get two enderum ingots. Sorry, two enderum. Two ender pearls, sorry. So. That's no problem to craft. This pythrum dust is also no problem to craft. So now we can quite straightforwardly craft endrum ingots. And there's the, the encoding pattern for the endrum. There's the endrum base. And of course, in the uh, molecular assemblies, we should have the pattern for pyrothium dust. So, just to prove it, let's put this back into here, we don't need that in the moment. So I've got 12 endrum ingots, let's just craft one of those. And there we have it, let's start that. And in a few seconds, because it won't take, doesn't take very long when everything's already made, except for it does have to go into the smelter. And I could make the smelter go a little bit faster, which is probably a good idea. Because the smelter is actually the slowest part of all the, the alloy smelters are the slowest part of this. Let's do that actually, because I have got in here some speed upgrades or speed augments. So I've got this is the level one. I'm not even sure, and that's it, level two. And here's the level three. I actually got three level threes, so I only want one. And let's go down to the applied logistics room. Hopefully, I'm not. Oh no, it doesn't work with these because, of course, these are already speeded up with the octet capacitor. Ah, uh, yes, sorry, my mistake. And this one here, the pulverizer, I have already added the augments for this for the secondary sieve. So you get a chance now of 81%. I had those before, but unfortunately I messed them up. And here I've added the macerator because with a, an import bus in here, I made a little bit more capacity by using some dense cables here. And I'm going to tidy this up. It's a bit of a mess. In fact, it drives me crazy, but that's irrelevant. Okay. Let's go back up to the top floor now, where it's gone to workshop. So what I want to do today, as well as that, which, I haven't, which is not on my list, is to make the next part of the quantum armour. So we've got the, the helmet and the suit, body armour suit. Now we need some quantum leggings. So that's some nano suit leggings, which I'm actually wearing, but I've made an extra pair two reinforced iridium plates, 
two glowstone and two basic machines. I'm not sure if I can auto craft basic machines. Let's just check. First of all, basic machine casing. Yes, I can. So I can craft those as well. So let's go back again. And I don't have any, which is also. Oops, can't type again. Again. So we already have that. We also have our electronic crystal. So I should be able to. Nope. Why do I missing out in there? I've got the plates. Close to a basic machine casing. I don't have it. Yes. And glowstone. That's a bit strange. I've got plenty of glowstone. Let's get this out of the thing. I think that's a little bit of a bug actually because um, I've got glowstone here and it is here. And in fact, I think most of it's behind me in the. Um, in the storage drawers. Not that it matters, right? Machine casing. So we need two of those. So I've got eight and I need to craft eight. Well, actually, that takes quite a long time, so I'll start that process off. So I've got one. We just have to wait for the other one. It'll come back in here, I suspect. It shouldn't take too long. But maybe I need to add another co-processor. So I mean, I wasn't helping in this case with it because it's got the, the bottleneck will be in the um, metal former. But I could ex increase the speed of the metal former by producing some more overclockers. I'm not sure if I have any overclockers. Let's have a quick look while I'm doing this. So this is the overclocker upgrade, and that's made like that. I'm not sure if I have the 10k coolant cells or not let's have a quick look no i don't the 10k coolant cells are made out of a coolant cell and the coolant cell is made out of coolant and an empty cell and the empty cell is made by extruding i think a tin plate so let's just prove that let's get some tin I've got any tin plates. I do actually have 21, so let's just take three. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's put those back. I don't need those because that was a mistake. So I have a tin plate. So I go to the metal form here, and I want to extruding mode. So if I take this, that should give me three cans, maybe give me nine cans actually, I'm not sure. Ah yes, of course, they're going now down through here and out into the into the network, so they should appear here if I've got it right. It takes quite a long time because it's quite slow, the, the piping. Hmm, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just remove the ejector upgrade and try one more. Now that shouldn't eject it. Yes, oh, I did get three. Perfect. Okay, let's put the ejector upgrade back in again. So what we then do is we, we need some distilled water. I have some distilled water, but I've got plenty of it outside here in this. Oh no all gone. Where's it gone to? Probably downstairs now. But I need to put make some more. And I think in this portable tank, yes I've got six bottles of uh, distilled water, so let's just get those. I can do... I need to put this away. Okay, let's do this. Have I got a space in here? Yes. Okay, now I've got enough to do that. Three spaces, one, two, three, yes. Right. Ah, and what we do, ah, oh, yes. This has always been a weeny bit complicated. The 
What I'm going to do first of all is to put onto this fluid solid canning machine one pipe and what happens is I want to empty these I want to empty these into the tanks what I have to do is I have to change the mode drain from cell into tank so I put the cells in here oh, actually these stack and what should happen is it will go into here and through the pipe it should come back end up back into here which is where we need it to be perfect so what we also need to do this is some pulverized or macerated uh, lapis so the macerate is here but of course that's also going to eject it let's just remove that and here I do have a, a overclocker upgrade oh so much for the ejector upgrade it's objecting it anyway so I don't need that ejector upgrade now I'll put it back anyway yeah so I think I already have some actually so let's go and get it out of here Plenty of 46. And I think I only need three. So, what we do is we come back to the canning machine. Now we put the lapis in here. Oh, no, we have to change the mode first. So, what we need is to do the enriched tank or so. So, we put the lapis into here and then we put the three cells. If I can't see them, where did I put those? Uh -huh. on the other side no them to my three cells ah they probably got ejected didn't they so they should be in the ME system again oh, indeed they are actually those are universal seven empty cells so I only need three so I'll take them anyway so this time I have coolant in here, industrial craft 2 coolant, and I want 3 cells, which I now want to fill. Canning, right. fill cell from tank, and I'll end up with 3 coolant cells. The other way to do the actual, getting this, this left hand tank full with water to start with is by, um, or distilled water, is by right clicking with a universal cell. But I find it easier to do it this way. Oh, and it does need this fluid ejector, of course. That's the fluid ejector, is the one that actually allows it to work. So here we go, alright, they've disappeared. There they go. Down into the network again. So they end up in the ME system eventually. Now, what do we have in here? Cells. I actually already have nine coolant cells must have prepared those earlier without me knowing about it so next we need the coolant cell right it was a 10k wasn't it oops there we are it and the recipe for that is tin plate around the cooling cell so we press that's it on three of those don't we one no no they don't stack three now so what we're doing is the uh, overclockers, won't we? So let's do overclockers. And here's the recipe for that. I should have an electric circuit. I should have insulated copper, but maybe not. Let's just see. And now I don't have any insulated copper because it's it's, it's actually craftable. Let's craft uh, two of these. I got one. Shouldn't take too long, but again, it's going through the um, metal formers. Two. It's 
and I have two overclockers. And what I can then go and do is to put those down in the machines downstairs. And we should get an improved speed. I don't do more than about two because I find if I do more than two, then what happens is that it uh, doesn't have to get the power quickly enough. So maybe you have to revise with the way I'm going to do the power here. So that's one in each. I need to make another t two and put one in each again. In fact, I'll do it in all four. So I'll need two for each one of these. So I'll need eight in total. But I won't do that on camera. Let's go back upstairs. So where are we up to? We wanted to make the um, quantum armor, wasn't it? And what was it that I needed was these. I think that should be everything. Yeah, the glowstone for some reason is not coming out. Oops, that's a bit careless. Let's try again. And one pair of quantum leggings. Let's go back again now to the uh, the next one, which is actually the boots. And this is three rubber boots and one nano suit boot. So the rubber boot's pretty straightforward. I think I should have everything I need for that. Yep, one two of those. What else do we need? Nano suit boots for these ones. Uh, I won't have enough for this yet. Let's have a look. I should have one of those carbon plates. So let's make three more carbon plates. And here we can just craft three of those. Let's start that. And these again, are basically what they're doing is making raw carbon fibre then it's making carbon mesh and then it's putting that in the compressor to make the carbon plate. I already have the energy crystal so I don't need that and I've automated that process as well so it goes through the um, that was why they needed the, the macerator because you need to grind diamond and the only way you can grind diamond is with the macerator. Pulverizer and sagmal don't grind diamonds so it must be something very special to industrial craft two right well that's making the last one of these let's go and charge up the the leggings and you'll see charge that it needs 10 million eu which is quite a reasonable amount so it takes a few minutes to do that and in here still making iridium ores i've got 12 more so I've got now plenty of iridium ore for these things. I'll just shove that in there. So I should have the last, last carbon plate now. There we go. So we've got now the nano boots. So the next thing is... So we should have a laptronic crystal, but maybe not. No, we need the laptronic crystal. And I don't have a crafting recipe for that one. So that needs six lapis ground, two advanced circuits which I've got, and one energy crystal. I might not have the energy crystal anymore, so I'm going to make one of those. There we go, let's craft one of those. So it's got, this has already got nine available, so that'll go very fast. So I missed something there. Oh, can't work because we're still crafting something else. I ignored it. All right, go on. And there we have the electronic crystal. So that's it. We can now make the boots. And one pair of boots. So let's have a look. Let's put those into there. That's those nicely charged up now. 
Put those on. Put the boots on. And while we're doing, while that's judging, let's have a look at what we look like at the moment. Ah. Yes, I see I've got my uh, Daleks helmet on. Let's try and look at the other direction. And I've got the glasses on. Now, in fact, let's change the glasses off over here. Um, oops, oh, which one do I need? Hey. Where's the helmet gone to? Hit me up. There we are. Just need the boots now. They should be charging up. It's actually quite difficult to do this. How do I get to that one? I think I'll just press F5 again and get myself back to oops. Wrong one. F5. Now we got the boots. And you'll see the power goes down quite a lot. There's 40 million EU in here. So I've just used half it. But you'll also notice that on the armor shield I've now got 10 armors, which basically means is I'm indestructible. Uh, until the power runs out, then I can die. In fact, you can actually, the only thing that will get through this armor is the rapier. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, bye for now.